This is a PSA for anybody who's got their home on the market right now. We got spoiled over the last 10 years thinking that our homes are going to sell for asking price or above in like 48 hours. And if your home's been sitting on the market for 10 days, you start to panic because we got so used to everybody flooding our homes, making these grand offers on our homes, and that's just not normal. I remember, um, I've been licensed since 2007, so I'm like one of the oldest people in the industry right now, 17 years. 2007, by the time I sold my first house, the subprime mortgage market was imploding and only a few months later, Lehman Brothers filed bankruptcy and the entire world's financial markets started to just topple over. And for four years straight, half of every home that went on the market failed to sell. That's right. One out of two homes that was on the market in every price range failed to sell. They would either voluntarily take the house off the market or their listing would expire with their agent. And routinely sellers were having to drop their price three or four times to get it to sell. They were offering several percentage points in closing costs just to get the buyer to buy their property versus the next one. And they were sitting there for maybe like 90 days on average. It was brutal, brutal. And uh, then all of a sudden, spring of 2012, the inventory just fell to like nothing and homes started selling fast and for the asking price or above. And it stayed that way up until about fall of 2018 into 2019. What I thought was going to happen seemed to have been happening that the market just started to kind of peter out. The inventory level started to rise. That means the number of listings versus how many were selling on like a monthly basis started to tick up and homes started to sit longer and sellers started to panic. And so a lot of you probably don't remember that that's what was going on because just six months later, boom, the pandemic happens and everybody's shut down and interest rates fall to like two and a half percent. Nobody's putting their home on the market. And then we start seeing 20, 30 offers, every single listing that we were putting up and homes were selling for 10, 15, 20, even sometimes 25% over the asking price. Absolutely bonkers, absolutely nuts. And then interest rates go from two and a half percent up to 7% and they've been in the mid sixes now for two years and the inventory has slowly been starting to creep up, meaning the amount of homes that are for sale versus the amount of homes that are selling is starting to get greater and greater. And in addition, the days on market, the average days on market is starting to creep up as well. It's two, maybe even three times longer than we all got used to. And so what that means is that if your home is priced well, relative to the market, relative to your competition, relative to what other homes have sold for recently, then you might just need to be patient. And trust me, I know that's hard because you have to put the best product at the best price out there, meaning you have to keep the beds made, the bathrooms clean, the floors swept, and you gotta do that every single day for like 50 days on end until you finally get a buyer who's willing to pay somewhat close to what you're asking just to be able to make it to the closing table. And so, I understand that that's painful for a lot of us right now because we got so used to putting the home up for sale and it going in like 48 hours. But I just wanted to, I don't know who needs to hear this out there right now, whoever's got their home on the market, but I want you to just remember that patience can be key right now. And for anybody who is not willing to be patient and not willing to price their home correctly, I want to urge you yet implore you 
take your home off the market. If you're not willing to do what it's going to take to get your home sold, you are contributing to the problem. You are hurting your neighbor who really does want to sell. The more inventory that's out there, the more negative pressure that's gonna put on prices and everyone's going to suffer. So if you don't wanna sell your house, if you're not motivated enough to get it priced correctly, do what you need to do to get the home to sell, just don't sell it. Lease it or let's do something else. If you have questions, you wanna talk about getting your home sold or you need some advice on what you need to do to get your home sold, give me a call, PM me here, Facebook, Instagram, and all the other places. I'm Scott Neal, local real estate guru, been doing this for 17 years now, and I know what it takes to get your home sold. So just listen to me, I promise it'll work out for you.